So I now want to start off on the skin. Um, I've applied probably two good coats to the skin of Bugman's Glow, just so I can get that base coat again to the hands. Um, and now, just because last time I felt Bugman's Glow was a bit too dark, and from the pictures I found, he's a pretty um, light-toned guy. So I've mixed together some Bugman's Glow with Cadian Flesh Tone, um, just for this final, well, hopefully one coat, just so I can ensure that the base layer is... Um, uh, a little bit brighter but I didn't want to bring it all the way up to Cadian Flesh Tone because I intend to use that to um, as part of the uh, the layering so I'm going to quickly go around just apply this additional coat of the Cadian Flesh Tone and Bugman's Glow so I've applied the Bugman's Glow and Cadian Flesh Tone pretty much one coat uh, to the head and hands I've put a little bit of blue tack very lightly so I haven't pushed it down um, just as risk management for dry brushing and I now just want to dry brush the head lightly before a wash um, and before I put it onto the body, just as, um, as a first layer. But once it's on the body, I can then start to work on shading to um, I, I work on a light source. So uh, I've now just got some Cadian Flesh Tone. Dry brush on the face, just lightly working over. Because this is the color I've mixed with um, Bugman's Glow, it is going to be hardly noticeable. Maybe you can just about see it. But I do find this is a much um, a subtler transition of colour. So as always, I'm just going to get my very small brush at this point. Because it does bug me a little bit. And just want to... the camera. Catch some of these again it's very watered down just catch some of these areas in the front i don't really worry too much about blending at this point because there's going to be so many sort of more layers i'm going to add to it but i just want to make sure from where the dry brush is that this layer this area just in the front of the face doesn't get neglected okay so i've now just jumped straight to my keysler flesh that's at the highest tone dry brush and this time I just want to focus on the really center of the face again a bit on the neck lower down because that's where the light would hit as opposed to the chin So he's, you know, he's quite a um, light-toned guy. And once again, that small brush and this colour. Watered down. <clears throat> I just want to pick out underneath this eye again. So if there's any other areas you just think a bit too dark from the dry brush, this is the best point to just go around and, and just neaten them up. But overall, as a quick, like, you know, it's picked up the features of his face and it's created a slight tone from the two colours. That's, a, for me, a nice place to start. Head to the body, I want to add some washes. Um, I've decided on Reichland Flesh Shade, but I have got my Dragonov Nightshade, so <clears throat> uh, um, a Flesh Shade colour and a Blue Shade colour. Um, and I've got the blue out just because he seems to have very uh, quite dark tones under his eyes. I don't know if it's it's the fact that he's got quite an overshadow from his brow or he's meant to look quite tired as I guess you would be during a heist. Um, so I'm going to start off with the Reichland Flesh Shade, just as normal, just literally coating the entire thing quite thinly. Um, but then when I'm finished, <clears throat> whilst it's still drying... I just want to dab in some of that blue in and around the eye, particularly underneath it, to hopefully add a bit of, I guess, aging or just shadow or additional shadow. So let's quickly get around this. That's enough. I'll just move this around now. Um, I do have a habit of always putting on too much. 
but sometimes I actually prefer to put on too much at least then it falls really pulls into the right places and then I can move it out of the way when I need to um, but that's that's my preference okay now I just want to get the um, the blue in so it's silent there for a moment now I've got some of the blue just coming from underneath the eye Hope you can see I'm just trying to put it just underneath the eye and create a bit of a bag a little bit over the top as well but only a tiny bit over the top more of a layer um, a line even and then underneath I really do want to kind of let it sink in and coat that on the side of the eye and hopefully you can already see just giving him that slightly darker shade. The shade is now dried and um, hopefully you can see sort of the darker tones around the eyes. It's brought all the detail, but of course it's brought all the skin down as well. So I'm going back to my Cadian Flesh Tone to start with, with a dry brush. I just want to bring both uh, with the Cadian Flesh Tone and the Keystair Flesh, just bring the skin back up. So I've now added the dry brush of Cadian Flesh Tone and a little bit more to the center I've added the dry brush of the Keystone Flesh. Um, I thought it's brought out all the detail but I do think the contrast between the three is quite stark. As I mentioned I felt his skin was brighter um, or lighter than the normal. Um, so what I've done is I've mixed together Cadian Flesh Tone with a tiny bit of Keystone Flesh into a really watery consistency and I'm now just going to rub it over the model. It looks very bright at the moment. And I'm hoping once it dries, it will just bring these together and then I can start building on that with the layer paints. So I want to go around this carefully. I want to make sure I don't get any pulls around the eyes because I worry it will overly tone down the effect. Uh, there's my battery's gone, but I'll just go around this and wait for it to dry. If you can see now that it's dried, it has brought the color up a bit. And yeah, I think it's, for me, I, I find it takes away that obvious dry brush and creates a slightly more realistic um, skin tone. But now I want to create, uh, well, increase the lightness of the skin and the direction of the light hitting the skin. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to um, put the head and the arms, oh, sorry, the hand and the gun onto the, the body. So I've added the head and the hands to the, or hand and gun to the body. Add a little bit of wood filler into the neck just to kind of help to ease that <clears throat> straight uh, straight drop. I might add a little bit more in if I'm honest. Um, and now after the dry brushing, I just want to add some additional layers. So I've got the mix of Cadian Flesh Tone and Keys Their Flesh here, and then I've got the straight uh, Keys Their Flesh on this side. So again, sit really watered down. I just want to start picking out all the major points on the body, really make sure I don't hit any of the um, of the, the recesses. Um, actually in a moment before I put the keys to the flesh down I am going to add in the, um, the eyebrows and possibly even the eyes as well just because I find um, it just helps work out where you want the shadow and shades to be. So I'm just going to go around just like this, picking out some of the key areas that I feel should be a little bit brighter. I think this is actually not watery enough. Yeah, that's much better. I can just bring those areas, wash off my brush and just transition those out a little bit as well. Um, a bit more over the chin. I don't go over all of this, but see the idea. So I'm relatively happy with the face. That was about two coats of the Cadian Flesh Tone. Just just very carefully going over really. I've decided to go light a bit more central 
just because when I put it on the base, I felt like he was looking kind of this way anyway, and I felt if I was coming from this side, I'd have to position the model in a different way. So um, <clears throat> I'm now working on the hair. I've mixed together um, a cheap black and brown paint, uh, predominantly brown, a little bit of black, just because he does have quite dark brown hair. Um, so as I work to a highlight, I don't want to go too light. I'm using it quite watery just because I find that where you've well, where I've dry brushed the hair with the skin and you've got these in individual lines, as I go over it with a with a more watery paint, um, it will retain that effect and hopefully just add a bit more um, highlight to the front of the face. So I'm just going to go over the hair um, and the eyebrows with the uh, brown and a little bit black. Over the hair with one coat and just uh, layered in the eyebrows. Not particularly happy with the shape just yet, but I'll add in some shade later. Um, and I'll come back to the hair. All right. I've now got some flayed one flesh. And I've got some white prepared. Uh, just ready to put onto the eye. So, just go here with a very, very small brush. Just want to get the flayed one flesh over the entirety of the eye bulb. So, um... I've got it quite nicely on this eye, messed up quite badly on this eye, but I'll neaten up later as I go along. Um, I've now got um, just a, a plain white, a titanium white, and I've added it into the flayed one flesh. And now I just want to essentially cover the eye again, leaving just the, um, the widest part. For the eyes, his eyes are brown, so just want to wash from a brush. Get a bit of the basic brown so not darkened with any um with any black. And just starting at the top of the eye, I just want to essentially add a dot and then work my way out. Same again on this side, central dot, and I just work my way around. As long as I just end up poking at it, hoping that my brush gets some paint on. So now I've got the uh, brown dot on the eye, um, and I've, I think I'm okay with it. I think it probably needs a bit of neatening up, but I hope that the the shade that I'll add in at a moment will will fix that. Um, I've now got some scrag brown, and I've mixed that in with the initial brown that I had before. Um, so just really just trying to bring that brown up. Um, and I've made it made a watery consistency just off camera. Um, I now want to just drop that into the centre of his eye, um, ideally not hitting the bottom, this uh, semicircle. So I hope you can see a bit of colour difference to the eye. Um, I now, with again small brush, black paint. Want to just add the um, pupil to the eye. Okay. And it's always good to start off with a small dot and then just dab it till it gets a bit bigger. So I added in the white dot um, just off camera. Um, I've now got some watered down Reichen flesh shade. Just as to start neatening up. I want to just layer that into the eye. Right at the bottom and over the top. Um, and it just helps to find the line and identify the areas where I particularly need to, to neaten up. In this case, I'm not too bad. Just coming back and getting rid of some of those pools. Okay. Um, whilst I'm now just adding some shadow, I've got some Agrax Earthshade. Again, very, very watered down. When I'm putting it on the skin, I just find it can be, will be a bit overbearing. Um, and now, just going not too much on the brush, just want to start getting over the eye and under the brow. Um, just want to start adding in some shadow 
so you can probably see it's very very watery <clears throat> but I um, just want to slowly build up this colour as I said he's got very very strong brows I felt like the eyebrows themselves needed a little bit more depth or shadow to them as well got my Cadian flesh tone um, maybe a little bit watered down you can see there are just some minor mistakes now around the eyes I just need to uh, neaten up. So once again, make sure I just get over the lid as much as possible without obviously getting it onto the eye itself. So just going to go around and neaten up the eyes with the Cadian Flesh Tone. I've applied the Cadian Flesh Tone and had a bit of a neaten up, um, but I just feel like he's lost the character. I know I'm not, I know I'm not entirely happy with the eyes just yet. Um, but I also feel like it's looking less and less like the character. So I went back to the pictures, and one of the key things that I noticed is um, his hair does need to be a lot darker, um, and he also just has a bit of stubble over the lip. So I'm going to go around now with the um, Rhinox Hide, so much darker uh, brown over the hair, eyebrows, and um, <clears throat> I'll come back when I'm doing the stubble. Still having it in the beard, but I wasn't happy with how dark it was at the top of the head. So I've just got a bit of the watered down Cadian flesh tone. Um, oh, sorry, just neating up just some of the the parts where I feel like there should be more light. Just in preparation for the Keystone flesh. So I've added in the uh, tash and some stubble. It's a bit um, over the top at the moment, but I'm hoping now as I go over with the Keystone flesh, I can uh, start to work out the colour and then tone it down right at the end. Um, well. Bring up the skin and tone down the, the 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 facial hair. So I've now got a very watered down Keyslev flesh, um, and I just want to start very much at the top, bringing up some of these colours. Um, I'm going to do it really slowly because I'm not sure where exactly I want to build it up from. Um, so now I just want to add some layers in here. So I'm just going around again, building this colour up. So I just want to basically keep on going with this, um, just till I feel like he's a much brighter tone. Um, but at the same time, I've still retained all the shadows. So I'm getting slowly more happy with it. Um, I still think there's something missing. So I'm still just you know tinkering around that's what I really do when it comes to faces I'm not there yet but you know it's, it's something to work towards so I've now got some Cabo Crimson quite walk, watered down um, and firstly just want to touch upon the lips again if I've mentioned it before I really don't like bright red lips but I do think one it's worth getting that line between them and just adding a bit of shape and colour you know, I need to neaten that lip, lip up a little bit because it had a, a speckle from the uh, Moustache. Uh, the second thing I want to do, just a bit, bit more watered down uh, Cabo Crimson shade, is just dab his nose, front of the nose, and the ears. And this probably should have been done much earlier, but at the same time, I just so I'm desperately trying to find things that seem to be in a lot of the pictures. He seems to have quite a, essentially a bit of a red nose. I want to blend that out a bit with water. And same again on the ears. I'm happier for there to be more of a red consistency around the ears. So I'm not particularly happy with the brightness of the model, so I've gone back to that watered down Keystone flesh. Um, and I'm just again hitting over these highest points, particularly on the, on the forehead. I just really want to start bringing this up. As you can see, as I keep on adding these layers, it's just getting brighter and brighter. As I said, to adding or slapping on one coat. Yes, it would be bright, but it wouldn't have this same transition. And um, I think on skin, it just, it just you just can't use thick paints. So 
Sorry again, the camera makes it look extremely bright, so just wait for it to come out of. Hopefully now you can see I'm just trying to really add a light source to the top of the head. So I think I'm as happy as I can be with the face. This is it with a bit of the light taken down. Um, as I said, I think for some reason I'm picking up too much army as opposed to sort of vigilante and, and who he is, but I'm going to stick with it for the moment. Um, I've just been going around with a black ink or black ink watered down to sort of uh, be used as a wash and just hitting some of these areas like between the uh, the black and the skin, um, just going around some of these pockets again, and I just need to neaten up this neck in a moment. Um, but just really to make some of the key areas stand out and differentiate between the colours. Now as a final touch, um, I just got some Zandri dust, so cream colour, something I've always said I've just used for bone. Um, I'm literally not going to do much effort on this at all, but just for all of the nails, Just touched it with this colour. I'll give them a little coat of um, Seraphim Sephia, so a little wash afterwards. I think it's nice just to have the difference in colour on the nails. So I'm just going to work my way around um, and then I'll come back. Now the uh, sandry dust is dried on the nails, just got some Seraphim Sepia and just want to coat those really making sure that I get into those edges so it helps to find those the nails themselves so I'll just go around so I still think there's a bit of neatening up to do um, no, I really do like the face I just worry that he's got such a unique face and I may not have like captured him so um, for now I'm going to leave it. I've, I've put an extra line of black here and I do want to do some neatening up on the red. Um, but I'm just going to put it to the side, um, go over to the base, and then once I'm finished with the base, I'll, I'll work on any final touches.